At this point, I believe it's the best moment to get an iPhone 15. So uh, here I have the iPhone um, 15 um, with uh, 256 gigabytes black model. And you will say why to get the iPhone 15 now that iPhone 16 is out. Well, because you get top-notch software and top-notch hardware. Here I have um, the iPhone uh, 14 Pro Max and um, at this point um, at this point you will get with the uh, iPhone 15 same processor, you will have um, almost the same camera, you will have the same lens, a, lo a lot of um, uh, a lot of um, uh, same hardware I mean so let's discover the iPhone 15 and let me tell you why it's the best decision to get it at this point here I have it as I said the iPhone 15 256 gigabytes so um, this is it beautiful uh, beautiful phone inside of the box don't expect too much. The SIM tray ejector uh, pin and the cable. Now the cable it's a braided one. It has um, it has this material here. Here it is. It's not plastic um, anymore. And you have USB Type C to USB Type C seams. The phone now has an USB Type-C port. Let's uh, discuss more about this one. So here it is. This is uh, this is how it looks. As I said, now you get with the iPhone 15, you have um, a USB Type-C port, and um, you will say, well, we don't have the same high-speed port available on higher models. Yes, but this one has the same speed as um, the classic port on uh, iPhone, um, the Thunderbolt. Um, basically, you will have around 500 uh, megabytes, something like that. I believe it's more than enough for usual uh, uh, file transfer. Here it is. On higher models, you get uh, 10 gigabytes higher speed but that's another story if probably if you if you record a lot of videos but this one it's fast enough for everything more than uh, you will probably use uh, on average uh, usage and uh, this one has display port you can output video signal from here this is uh, this is something phenomenal you have the speaker um, you have uh, stereo sound which is by the way amazing on iPhone 15 uh, I wasn't expecting such a quality it's really really impressive um, you have the on off button or the um, the assistant button it depends how you want to use it we have here um, the classic switch button and this is something that I highly appreciate I know um, the latest models, they have the press button uh, like this one here on uh, on Apple Watch. Um, but, you know, iPhone, I believe they should have kept this one. This is, this is from, uh, from, uh, from iPhone history, basically. This is um, one of, uh, of its distinctive uh, symbols if I may call it in this way the switch button I prefer this one compared with the pressing of a button I know you can assign shortcuts apps but I believe they could have um, made a change here to keep this button and to offer the possibility to press on it probably in the future we will see something like that press button and switch this is easy it's safe you know anyway we have the volume buttons here and um, the sim tray um, uh, space here the logo here two cameras we have a wide camera with um, 
48 megapixels and another one with 12 megapixels. Here on the front we have a 12 megapixel camera and um, uh, sensors, LiDAR and all that stuff for face front recognition. Anyway, let's start this one. And let's get this one here. So here I have um, here I have the iPhone 14 Pro Max. Huge, expensive, powerful, and here I have the iPhone 15. It's smaller, it's powerful, and not so expensive. It's basically at uh, half of this price. This is the 512 gigabytes model, so it's really expensive for a phone. I, uh, this is my opinion at least. These days the phones have some crazy price. You don't pay on your TV and your console as much as you pay on a smartphone, but this is it. So why do I believe at this point the iPhone uh, 15 is the best choice? Immediately, let me show you. So here I have them. iPhone 15, as you know, has um, a 6.1 um, uh, OLED display. This is a Super Retina uh, XDR OLED display and um, it looks phenomenal. You will say, um, is it uh, good enough for everything? Yes, at this point, iPhone 15 is the first phone in this line and we are not talking about Pro or Pro Max. Uh, this is the first, uh, the first iPhone that breaks the rules. Uh, basically, it has a powerful hardware uh, as, a, as a Pro Max phone. Basically, this one has, uh, uh, this one has um, uh, the Apple uh, A16 Bionic processor. It has an OLED display, it has the same um, lens as iPhone 14 Pro Max, the previous generation, so you will take some crazy pictures. You will have uh, 4K um, up to 60 frames, uh, HDR video recording, another, uh, another crazy aspect. So um, why shouldn't you buy it at this point, I will ask. Well, only if you want a bigger display, but you have also the possibility to get the plus uh, from this line. Um, only if you want, if you don't want an aluminum uh, body here, this is aluminum. Um, maybe you feel this one premium, it's heavier, it has a bigger battery indeed. It has uh, some extra features for the camera, but in general, you won't use them. Uh, so this one, uh, iPhone 15, it's more than enough um, for uh, for your phone. You can use the MagSafe also. Look, great. Um, regarding to the screen, let me finish this one. Um, the phone uh, has, as I said, an OLED display with 25, uh, 25 um, 56 by 1179 pixels as a resolutions. Uh, you will have the latest iOS, you will have, um, um, let me show you here, let's go to, to battery, at this point, at this point, um, here we have uh, info, this, uh, this one, for example, it was uh, manufactured on July 2024. I just got, I just bought the phone, um, first use September 2024, when I, um, when I activated this one, uh, basically, uh, at, um, at this moment here, as I said, I just got it, um, so, um, again, two, uh, 2000, uh, nits, this is crazy. Let me let me show you here. 
let me show you here. This is it, this is how it looks at maximum brightness, iPhone 15 and 14 Pro Max. These are the uh, displays. Another change that I'm um, feeling here, this one has softer edges. Uh, it feels like um, it's a round edge here compared with uh, uh, 14 Pro Max. You have also dynamic island, so you have pro features on iPhone 15. That's why I'm saying that at this point with the latest iOS, the best iOS out there, the best operating, uh, operating software, the best features, the most stable uh, operating system at this point, uh, in my opinion. A huge display, 6.1, enough for, uh, for everything. Some of you will say, but I have only 60 Hertz here. Uh, I don't have ProMotion, uh, 60, FPS, uh, 60, uh, 60 FPS for transitions. Yes, we have ProMotion here and it indeed it feels uh, probably um, smoother when, uh, when you do something like this. But you don't stay on your phone to analyze um, the frame rate. This one it's very smooth and it it does it does everything right and fast. Um, sorry, one moment. So it does everything fast and you won't feel it in everyday usage that um, you have a sixty hertz refresh rate panel. So for me, it's not a problem only if you want to, to say something negative about the phone. This one has 171 grams. It's very light. Uh, it feels great when you, when you hold it. It's a small device. At this point, I like it so uh, very much. It's my first uh, device uh, from this line. Um, I, uh, I always got the Pro Max. But at this point, I really like this size. Um, you know, uh, for photos, videos, it's more than enough to get this device. And now that we have the, um, uh, the Pro hardware on it, it's fantastic. And you will ask, why not to get the iPhone 16? Well, in my case, there was a difference of price. And with that price, I can get something else, a handheld device. Um, or at least a part of that handheld device, you know, or another gadget. And my main concern was that button here, uh, the new added button on iPhone 16. Um, I um, I don't know at this point if I will use, I, I, I didn't get, I, I didn't have the possibility to, to test it with um with a tripod with a clamp like this it has a button here and my main concern is that when i will use it li like this when i will put the um, the phone on a tripod probably it will press that button here and since i'm using it a lot on a tripod um I'm really concerned about that button. Probably you can stop it, you can deactivate it, I don't know. But at this point for me, it wasn't necessary to get iPhone 16 to pay extra for the same, almost the same hardware. At this point, this processor, it's more than enough for, uh, for everything I do on this device. The display is fantastic, the camera also. It's not a huge difference that you will notice in everyday usage between iPhone 15 and 16. So if you if you if you find the iPhone 15 at a very good price, like I did, get it. It's the best choice at this point in my uh, in my opinion. And um, as I said at this point. At this point, um, in my opinion, um, this is a real deal. As I said, 256 gigabytes. Um, 
you you find the other model with uh, 128 gigabytes even at a uh, at a better price but for me that space it's not enough uh, starting with 256 gigabytes um it's safe for me so um at the 256 gigabytes it's uh, really amazing and uh, at this point uh, at least here in my area the price for example for with the price paid for an iPhone 16 256 I could get this model with 512 gigabytes model so double the storage with the same price paid on 256 gigabytes model uh, 16 so uh, in my opinion only if you want the latest model, if you feel good with that one, and if you appreciate that, that button will really help. In my opinion, it wasn't necessary, that button here. Maybe they will add some extra features, I don't know, but it wasn't necessary, in my opinion. And it will, um, it will uh, be so-and-so probably, especially if you, if you use it with, with a tripod, and it will um, press automatically when you use the clamp, the, the phone holder uh, here on, uh, on it like this. So um, I'm really curious to see that aspect. And an extra button from my experience, it's not necessary. We had an extra button on Samsung phones. We have, um, we have on, um, on off button here, volume button here, and an extra button here for uh, uh, for Bixby, for their assistant. Um, I never used this button, and as far as I remember, they uh, they ditched they ditched the button. They eliminated the button in time. I, I don't know at this point if newer models uh, have this button anymore, but it, it, it was. Um, it was some crazy button here and every time when I pressed the volume, in fact, I was going to this button. So probably that's why the iPhone decided to, to put the button here to not create a confusion between uh, these buttons, uh, this one and the, 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 the latest one. So um, what can I say about this phone? In my opinion, it's really amazing and if you really want to experience um if you really want to experience the um, the ios and uh, a premium phone iphone 15 it's the first uh iphone 14 definitely not but iphone um iphone uh, 15 yes great display great cameras very powerful device everything that you want in a smaller package compared with Pro Max. So um, for me, definitely it's a, it's a great device. So again, I will say it, an excellent choice if you want to experience the Apple, um, Apple uh, or iPhone world with a premium feeling and you don't want to pay for a Pro Max uh, iPhone, this is it. At this point, uh, probably I won't get, um, I don't know if I will change this one. Um, probably I won't get um, iPhone 16 Pro Max. I will keep this one. It's a fantastic, uh, fantastic phone. iPhone 14 Pro Max, uh, really amazing. Uh, it's like in day one, at least this is how it feels. Um, now after two years 
and um, probably I will wait for uh, iPhone 17. I don't see the reason to to pay for another phone similar to, to this one since this one it's like a brand new device it's like in day one and I'm so so um, con content glad with it nothing bad to say about this phone now a new member it's in the family and I will test it 